Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Daniel James. If you are new here, welcome. Today, I want to talk to you about the game of life that we are all living in. This is something that I have thought about in an extensive amount of detail, probably a bit too much detail. Over the Christmas period, I've been playing with uh, Katie's lad, Theo, and we've been playing a lot of computer games. And for me, it's really hammered home an analogy that you may have heard me talk about before. And that's how life is like a game of Mario. You're going to have challenges. And no matter how much you level up, life is still going to throw you a curveball. But it's how you handle those challenges and how you approach those challenges that changes the outcome. Because for me, life happens for us, not to us. But in order for it to happen for us, it first has to happen to us. The problem is when we sit there and get stuck, the life is happening to us. Oh, it's happening to me. This isn't fair. It's not fair. This is happening. That's happening. That's it. And we get stuck in that victim mindset. And it's very, very easy to do that because a lot of people think that life just happens to them. And at the time, it does. You get some really turbulent stuff that happens, some really bad stuff. Your whole entire world may get thrown upside down. And in that moment, I'm not suggesting for a single second, you've got to say, oh, right, well, how's this happening for me? How's this going to help me grow? I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that if you look back at the trials and tribulations that you've had in your life, I guarantee you that in those moments, that's when you learned the most. That's when you saw what you were really made of. And that's what I'm suggesting. When you see this like a game and understand that these trials are going to happen, life is going to happen to you. Sometimes it's not going to be fair at all. But for the earliest possibility, you can shift your mindset and ask, well, what have I learned from this? What skills can I take moving forward to level up my character? Because you're just a computer game character. And throughout life, all these things, they're making you better. You've got people that are walking around, I call them uh, NPCs, non-playable characters, and life is just happening to them. And if you've ever played a computer game, it's basically the, 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 the computer animated generated characters that just, they've got no concept of what's going on. But you are the main character in your life. You get to decide how this challenge can actually enhance your character. And for me, this all comes down to resilience. And it's something I've spoken a lot about recently. So for me, resilience, if you look at the definition here, the uh, official definition of the word resilience from the Cambridge Dictionary, it says, resilience is the quality of being able to return quickly to a previously good condition after a problem. Previously good condition. Now, with all the trials and stuff that's happened to you in your life, I don't believe that you've actually ever returned to a previous condition. The definition of resilience that I've adopted that I want to share with you today is this, and that is, Resilience is the quality of being able to emerge enhanced from difficult experiences. True resilience is not about bouncing back to the way you were, but rather bouncing forward and evolving from the lessons that we've learned. You emerge enhanced. All the challenges that you have faced in your life, if you look back, you came out the other side enhanced. It made you better. You bounced forward and you evolved. And that's just like in a game of Mario. You level up, you level up, you level up. Just like in these computer games, you improve your character. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, please smash that thumbs up button. It helps with YouTube algorithm to get the video out there to help more people that may need to hear this message. If you don't want to miss any future episodes, hit that subscription button. And now back to the episode. When these things happen to you, don't instantly ask, why is this happening to me? Can we adopt, what is this? taught me what's this here to teach me sorry what's this here to teach me and as soon as you can start to play the game of life in that way nothing can stop you because no matter what life throws at you no matter how bad it gets you can just take yourself out of it and be like right i know right now this hurts i know right now this sucks this doesn't feel great but i also know this is going to be teaching me a valuable lesson if we can just adopt that mindset it changes everything all too often in my life, I got stuck in that victim mindset. I used to blame everybody. I used to give my, my, all my power away. I took no responsibility. Oh, it's just happening to me. There's nothing I can do about it. But I'm telling you, there is something you can do about it. There really is. It's that simple mindset shift. Right, I'm a computer character. I'm, I'm a character computer game. You can design it however you want to. And there's, there's deeper meaning to this analogy as well. 
because in these characters you can literally design them how you want in some of these open worlds you can design the world that you want and i fully believe that's how you can go through life but you first have to take conscious control and by that i mean you have to think about what's going on you have to take your emotions out of it and think raise yourself above this thing that's going on actually see it for what's going on don't get caught up in the emotions all too often we get caught up in the emotions and it's easy to do i still do it i still get caught up in the emotions everybody does no one talks about it though but the sooner you can just take the emotions out of it and just start to critically think and say right this sucks i'm not going to enjoy this right now i've got to go through this turbulent time but what can i learn from this how quickly can i emerge enhanced from this how can I use this experience, this opportunity to actually bounce forward? That's what true resilience is. And resilience is innate within all of us, meaning that you're born with resilience. When you first learned to walk, you'd have fallen down and something deep within you would have been like, ah, okay, that didn't feel good. Let me just course correct. What did I learn from this? And over time, we got better and better and better. But here's the thing. Yes, you are born with resilience. It's innate within you. But it's actually a skill set meaning that you can get better at it with practice but it's hard it is hard but do you want to be like a pinball with life just knocking you around and just you being completely reactive or do you want to consciously choose this is the path that i'm going this is the life that i want to live and yes life is going to throw me curveballs but i just understand that's all part of leveling up i understand that no matter how many levels i go into in life whatever level you're on i'm on right now I'm 34. I'm at level 34. For the first 28 years, it was disastrous. And life absolutely kicked my ass. But from that moment on, I've, okay, cool. What can I learn from level 34 here? What did I learn from level 33 and level 32 and level 30? What did I learn for the f first 28 levels? It allows you to take complete control. It allows you to see these things. Okay, I've been here before. I understand how this works. I understand this won't last forever. I'm just like buffaloes. When the thunderstorm comes, buffaloes run straight into the storm. They run straight into it and out the other side. They understand that by running into it and facing this challenge head on, yes, it's going to be chaotic. Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be turbulent. But if they face it head on, they'll get through it quicker. Cows, on the other hand, try and run away from the storm. And what happens is they can never outrun the storm and they actually end up in the storm longer, causing themselves more pain, more turbulence, more exhaustion. And they come out the other side exhausted you know that life is always going to throw something at you. If you can put on that suit of armor and realize this is all part of the game of life and that throughout the other side, you're going to learn something and throughout the whole process, you're going to be leveling up, that is game changing. That puts you in a place of complete empowerment and should encourage you to build this resilience muscle and live the life that you want. If you've taken any value from today's episode, don't forget to like and share with a friend. Until next time, take it easy.